In this video, we'll see another example of solving an application problem using what we know about linear functions. So here's the problem. A truck rental company charges $30 to rent a truck for the day, plus an additional charge for mileage. The total cost of renting a truck and driving 100 miles is $65. So for part A, we want to find the linear equation that relates the cost C of renting a truck to the number N of miles driven. And one of the first things that we want to do in this kind of problem is identify which of our two variables is the x variable and which of our two variables is the y variable. In this case, since the cost of renting a truck is going to depend on how many miles you drive, it makes sense to make c be the y variable and n be the x variable. Think to yourself, y depends on x. So whichever one of these variables depends on the other one, we want to make the dependent variable the y variable. Okay, now that we know that, let's try to interpret the information given in our problem as points on our line. It's probably easier to interpret the second sentence first. So we're told that the total cost of renting a truck and driving it 100 miles is $65. So that means that when x is 100, remember x is the number of miles, y is going to be 65. All right, what about our first sentence? It says the company charges $30 to rent a truck for the day plus an additional charge for mileage. Well, if we think about that, what that's telling us is how much we have to pay when we drive zero miles. If we didn't drive any miles at all, then we would still have to pay the $30 fee. And so that means that our other point on our line is 0, 0,30. All right, now we have to figure out which of our two forms for a line we want to use, point slope or slope intercept. Well, we're given the y-intercept. This point 0, 0,30 is the y-intercept of this line. Now, we don't always have the y-intercept, but when we do, we want to use our easier form of our line, which is our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So remember that y is really the c, the cost variable. m is the slope, which we don't know yet. x is the variable n, the number of miles. And then b is the y-intercept, and we do know that that's 30. See, the only thing we don't know in this equation now is the slope m. So let's figure that out. So the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. So on the top, maybe we'll have 30 minus 65. And then the bottom, keeping our points in the same order, 0 minus 100. So on the top, that gives us negative 35. On the bottom, that gives us negative 100. And that works out to be 0.35. Now what are the units on that? Well, remember that on the top, 30 and 65, those are values of C, which means these are dollars. So it's $30 and $65. And then in the bottom, 0 and 100, those are miles. And so the units here are going to be dollars per mile. And we'll use that, those units a little later when we try to interpret that slope. But for now, we have our equation for our cost, which is 0.35 times n plus 30. Okay, now we're ready for part B. Bonnie rents a truck, and her total cost was $110.50. How many miles did she drive? Well, we know our relationship between cost and miles is C equals 0.35n plus 30. In this case, 110.5 is the cost. It's how many dollars Bonnie had to spend to rent her truck. So that means that we put in the 110.5 in for the C, and now we want to solve for N. We'll start by subtracting 30 from both sides. That gives us 80.5 on the left equals 0.35N. We'll divide both sides by 0.35. .35s divide out on the right-hand side, and we end up with n equaling 80.5 divided by 0.35 works out to be 230. And the units here would be miles. Finally, we're being asked to interpret the slope of our linear function. And if you remember, the slope was 0.35, and the units on that were dollars per mile. 
And just like before, this tells us about the cost of additional miles, not the total cost per mile. So we might say something like this. Something like, for each additional mile we drive, we must pay 35 cents. So again, the slope tells us as x increases by 1, how much does y increase by? So if the number of miles that we drive increases by 1, our cost increases by $0.35.